this is Michael Claymore, author of the book 400 FPS. Uh, today we're going over a tactical reload system for the AK system, which is uh, one of my favorite rifle systems. Um, this is strictly for airsoft only, just a little FYI. I'm not actually playing in the field today, so I don't have any of my uh, safety gear on, but I'm just here to do some reloads for you guys, okay? The system that you just watched, um, it's a system where I like to focus more on a tactical reload, like you could do on the M4, where you, on the M4 system, you would just reach up, grab the mag, pull it out with one hand while simultaneously placing the other mag in and dropping it into either a drop pouch or a pocket or back into your mag pouches. Okay, the AK system is a little trickier. With the proper training, this is actually not that difficult of a technique. Okay, a lot of people argue that this uses too many fine motor skills, but actually, a little bit of practice, it's very simple. First of all, I'm going to start off right here in our shooting stance, okay? Making sure to keep our left elbow low. I see a lot of the mag pull guys raise your arms up like this. That's not a good idea since it blocks your field of vision a little too much. You want to keep it just like that, okay? Then you can reach down with your arm, pull out your next mag with your thumb like this. Make sure you keep your hand high on the mag like such. So you can grab the next mag, pull it like that with your thumb, press the release button, switch it just like that. It's a very easy thing to do. In fact, if you want me to, I can put this mag over and do it again. Just like that, and rock and cock the next mag in. This way, when you put this next mag back into your pouch, it'll be facing upwards. Okay, so you'll know from then on this mag right here you're putting in is a partial. Alrighty. So if you want to go back and reuse that mag later on when you're out of ammunition on the rest of your mags, you're going to know because that one's facing upwards that it's only a partial. You can't depend on it like a full loaded mag. Okay. You resume shooting. Let's say. This next point that I don't have the time to do a tactical reload because it does take a couple extra seconds, about a, you know, an extra two seconds maybe. Now what I can do is pull this mag upside down, press the release button just like that, drop that mag, which I don't like to do too often because it is a little harder than mags, and rock and cock it in again. Okay. All right. I can proceed to the next one. Now I can choose, you know, whether I want to do the tactical reload like such, or if I want to do speed reload and just knock it down like that and put in the next one. When I go back down the line, now I'm, I can either do the slap technique where I slap the mag up inside of my gun and do it like this. It's also another tactical reload. Or I can just do the speed reload where I knock it down like this and load it back in. Okay? You should be able to work your way from the inside out is the best way to do this system just to clear in your mind so you can know where you're working from on your tack vest. Another option is you can always drop these into a larger pocket like this or into a um, into a drop pouch on your system. So you can, that way you can always know how much you have left and where you have it left. You can also do this ambidextrously and you should practice this to get used to the feel of reloading like that. Okay? This is Michael Claymore. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you.